Hello, I'm Valentina Brombin as part of the project of excellence of the Department of Geoscience. I'm one of the technical laboratory of the Geochemical Lab and also the technical laboratory of the ICPMS laboratory. ICPMS is an acronym which stands for Inductively Coupled Plasma Mass Spectrometry, a powerful technique for the measurement of the concentration of uh, almost all uh, the elements of the periodic uh, table. In particular, this instrument is able to characterize these elements at very low levels, for example, part per million, part per billion, or even part per trillion. So it's a very powerful technique. In this case, the uh, samples must be dissolved into a liquid form and then nebulized and ionized through a, a plasma torch. After that, a quadruple can select the elements of interest and reduce the interference. However, this instrument, which is an Agilent 8900 triple quadruple uh, ICPMS, has to keep it with uh, three uh, quadruples, which means that the element selection is straightforward and both uh, precision and accuracy are very high. So, uh, this instrument. Uh, can analyze all the elements of the periodic table, which means that it's very important in geoscience as it can uh, characterize geochemically most of the organic and inorganic metrics, for example, rocks, soil, water, waste, and so on. So, in this case, the ICPMS can geochemically characterize the trace and ultra trace elements of rocks in order to investigate their source and their evolution, but also it is useful for the water classification and the detection of pollutant. Or yet you can, it can analyze the soils, their composition and the geochemical background. So it is an important instrument to investigate and monitor the Earth's critical zone and uh, in particular it can monitor uh, the uh, conservation and uh, uh, the management of water and soil which is one of the key goals of the project of excellence. In addition uh, for this project uh, this instrument can analyze uh, some, uh, some samples that uh, are involved in research that are focused on CO2 removal and critical raw material recovery for the energy transition, another key goal of the project of excellence. In particular, this instrument can analyze the leachets that are derived from the dissolution of maintaining the material uh, in order to extract calcium, which is important for the CO2 removal in the CO2 mineralization process, but also for the extraction of titanium, magnesium, manganese, aluminium, that are critical raw elements. Additionally, this instrument can also analyze other natural rocks in order to extract other critical raw materials such as the rare earth element. So in general, this instrument is very important for geoscience because it can monitor the natural system and also the human impact on the environment in order to reach a sustainable development.